shoulder fan. Yeah. Oh no no. I about threw up. I almost threw up. Here. Hurry. Uh. Welcome back you guys to another one of our videos. I'm Taylor. I'm Dylan. And we are going to attempt to eat these wings with these different hot sauces. Pray for us. They are extremely hot. So here we go. Here we go. So you go ahead and grab yourself a first wing. Okay. What we're gonna do is incrementally get hotter throughout these. Um, while I'm asking Taylor questions, she's gonna attempt to eat these wings and she's gonna do the same and ask me questions while I attempt to eat the wings. Yeah. So here we go. The first one is the hot sauce trough. A lot of people have already had this one. Okay, so here we go. Okay. So you are a realtor here in Texas. Mm -hmm. What made you get into real estate? Mm. Really good flavor, by the way. Mm -hmm. Good. I've actually tried this one before. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Zero heat. Not too bad. Okay. Actually pretty good. Um, what made me get into real estate? Well, I actually never thought about being a real estate agent. That never crossed my mind. I was working full time at a bank and with that being said, I mean, it was working. I, you know, had my 401k set up. I was there for years. I was working my way up within the company. I was comfortable. Um, and then a fellow friend of mine, actually work colleague mentioned it one day and said, Hey Taylor, have you ever thought about being a realtor? I hadn't like, that's the truth. I really hadn't never thought about this career whatsoever. And I looked into it, went to my first class once I bought the schooling and I fell in love. Came over. And that was it. <laughs> it's that simple, I guess. Cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, you try a wing. Okay, it's my turn now. Mm-hmm. All right, I gotta do the truffle. Mm-hmm. Come on, truff. The truff. That's really good. But he doesn't like truffle too much, so. I do like hot sauce, but yeah, truffle's not my thing. Mm-hmm. I know the truffle is strong with the truff here. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my napkin really quick. Mmm. Okay. Good, right? Mm-hmm. You want a napkin too? Please. Okay. <laughs> okay, so my question to you is, what made you get into roofing, general contracting, construction in general? What made you want to start that career? Hmm. Yeah, the truffle is strong on this, but it does have a kick. Really? It does have a kick. I can see that. She likes hot stuff, like she can take hot stuff. We'll see, cause that, that guy, I mean, he told us it was really, really hot. It so we'll on. see. <laughs> so um, construction for me is, it's cool because you get to, I, I just like building. I think building mm -hmm. something, um, using my hands to build something or using my mind to build something uh, is very rewarding to me. You know, even if I fail, I still really enjoy the process and I get to learn from that failure and then do it better the next time. So I think just the process behind it all yeah, really made me get into it and keep doing it for as long as I have been. Okay, cool. I am going to go ahead and go in with the Bravado Spice Company Ghost Pepper and Blueberry Hot Sauce for my next wing. Sorry if I'm eating all the flats. Those are his favorite. <laughs> it's okay. Normally we get all flats, but. I know. I forgot to push that button on DoorDash this time. It's okay. Mm. So we all know being a realtor, normally you're a 1099 contractor. Mm -hmm. What was that like making a switch from a W2 to a 1099 contractor? Was that scary? It was. It was absolutely terrifying for about a split second <laughs> um, for me at least for a lot of other people it's terrifying throughout the entire first year for being a 1099 contractor this is hot ah uh, good we got a little kick on it now this one's good it has a good flavor though i can't wait for you to try it blueberry baby um but for me i would say i'm a little bit more of a risk taker i always have been my entire life I love the discomfort that that brings for myself personally. So I think for me, as long as I had the right people supporting me that had my back, um, AKA just my family, I was good with it. I was excited. I was, you know, ready for something new and I just kind of went for it. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That's Try awesome. it. Okay, my turn. 
All right, I got me another drum. Mm -hmm. I'll let baby eat all the flats. <laughs> hey, we're going for it. Mm hmm. It's a good one. Mmm. Okay. What do you think? Oh, heavy. Mm hmm. I like the mix between sweet and spicy though. That's cool, it's like a jam. Yeah, like a, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. I like that. If you like hot honey, you'll love this. Okay, my question for you is, if I were to need a full roof replacement on my home, mm -hmm. if you were coming out to give me a free estimate, what would you look for in order to let me know that, yeah, I need that full roof replacement? Like what would it take to need that? As opposed to like just repairing some of it or something? Right, yeah. Okay. okay. Ooh. <laughs> that's number two. Yeah. That's a, that's hot already. <laughs> we got four more to go. Um, full roof replacement as opposed to a repair job. Uh huh. Well, age has a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. um, type of roofing system has a lot to do with it. If you have shingles up there. You know, obviously those only last so long as opposed to like a metal roof or a tile roof or something that would last, you know, um, a lot longer than an asphalt shingle. <clears throat> so I would say age on an asphalt shingle um, is probably your biggest factor as to deciding whether you need a full roof replacement or, you know, if a tornado came through and ripped your roof off. Yeah, obviously. storm damage. <laughs> yeah, storm damage, call your insurance out. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to now try the goblin sauce. Here you go. This one was made in Pennsylvania. Let's see. Mmm. It smells good. Smell that. Oh, dang. That smells spicy. Okay. Let's see. Miss Expert Realtor, say I was buying a home, right? Mm hmm Do you recommend I get an inspection? Absolutely. Okay. Always. Why? Every time? Depends. Okay, with that being said, <laughs> I recommend it because it teaches you a lot about the property. Uh -huh. So if you haven't ever bought a home before and you're not really familiar with the ins and outs of what a home entails, you know, plumbing, electrical, all that good stuff, and you're not a contractor, or you just don't really have someone on your side that can just come over and fix whatever breaks or to maintain anything, absolutely, get an inspection. Go, go to the inspection, walk with the inspector, really get a feel, take notes, <laughs> just learn as much as you can about the property before you purchase it. Yeah, okay, good advice. Mm -hmm. How is that? Really good. Good, good. Right, Has a kick to it, which, is why I love it. All right, come on with it. Okay. Yeah, so we actually got three of these, or two of these, three of these sauces from a local shop here in Houston, mm -hmm. North Houston. Yeah, it was really cool. It was like really family owned, had lots of, it had like, there were like lava lamps in there and all different sorts of sauces. Mm -hmm. And he was really nice. The owner was awesome. We'll link the shop in the description. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's good. Yeah. See, that's like a salsa verde. It is. Or something like that. That's good. Out of these three, do you think it's the hottest? I don't know. I think that one's hotter. Really? Let me let it sit for a minute. Okay, yeah, because I do. Okay, let me get a little more. Okay. I think I got enough. Alright. <laughs> um, okay, my question. Yeah, come on. Hit me with it. Okay, so my question for you is, what have been your biggest challenges being a roofer, owning a construction company, what is your main, I mean, I know there's lots of challenges that come with all of that, but what is like one that really sticks out to you? Um, good question. I think the biggest challenge nowadays is a lot of people want things to be virtual and it's kind of hard to make a good connection with a, with a client and we like, excuse me, <laughs> it's getting hot. Um, and we like to leave, you know, an impression and like a, a long-term stamp with mm -hmm. on our clients. Um, so I think like 
it's harder to maintain business or maintain relationships nowadays because of how virtual things are getting. Right. Um, so that's why we like to still kind of try and go out and put a face to a name when we are uh, meeting people or, or going out for um, an estimate or to review a project or something. Yeah. So I think that's probably the biggest challenge for, for me these days. Yeah, like earning their long lasting business, you mm -hmm. know, getting referrals. And that, I think for me with real estate is a big one too. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, let's go in for the next one. This one is really cool. It's in a really cool bottle. I know, it's a cool bottle. This one is called the General's Hot Toss Danger, Danger Close. That's oh. cute. I love the little dog tag on there. I know. <clears throat> is it getting hot? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Take a drink. It's up my nose and stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh. Hotter? Even hotter? Mm, it's pretty close <sighs> as far as kick goes, but the flavor is my favorite. Okay. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I want more actually. Now time for a question. <clears throat> now that you've been a realtor for as long as you have, mm -hmm. which is what, six years now? Mm -hmm. Six years now. What is one of the most interesting things that you've run across during a transaction. Mm. I know this one. You know this one. Okay, so not too long ago. Ooh, cool. Literally like two months ago. Kid you not, okay? We were in escrow, cash buyer. And when I say that, like every realtor in the world or anyone that knows real estate and how it goes, if you have a cash buyer, it's literally a blessing. I mean, every client is blessing, but it's like an extra blessing. Reason being, you can close in like literally three days. Like literally, you find the perfect home, they're excited, put in the offer, escrow, it's only three days, and then we all close and we're all happy. But guess what? On this specific property, you are, you know, mm -hmm. okay? I know. On this specific property, literally, we go into escrow, we look at maybe five homes. My clients are so excited. It's literally the perfect house. They're coming from a whole different state. The home catches on fire and burns to the ground. Kid you Whoa. not. Yeah, literally I have been doing this for almost a decade and this has never happened ever with any other home. I've heard horror stories, right, from other people. But literally, my clients called me, I think like on a Sunday morning, and they were in tears. We were supposed to close that Monday. Everybody was excited, and she was like, the house burned down. It's no longer here. Insane. Yeah. Insane. Yeah, and come to find out, it was all like some sort of electrical issue in the garage. And the owners were out of town and everything. So it, it really was awful for everybody. It, Literally, you can't make this up. This is cra a crazy story. Yeah, we still closed on a new home and my clients are happy and we think it was definitely a blessing in disguise at the end of the day. Mm. Um, Everything happens for a reason, they say, right? Yeah, for my clients though, not the sellers. I feel extremely bad for them because um, it was a total loss once they had insurance come and everything. But anyways, yeah, crazy story, crazy experience the most easiest transaction of the year burnt to the ground. It's so. in the news and everything. Uh-huh. Insane. <laughs> All right, my turn. It. Yes. The grenade. Mm-hmm. Here we go, baby. That one's so good. This one looks good. Okay, that's a lot, honey. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay, let me see. I don't want you to, you have to save your taste buds for this. Go big, go home, baby. I didn't put my hair back today for nothing. <laughs> it's good though, right? It's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely a kick. Yeah, but the flavor, it hits. It's okay. 
That's a good one. Okay, my question to you. Mm. If you could go back and do anything different with your construction company, what would you do? Mm. <laughs> What would I do different? Mm -hmm. Practice eating hot wings. Okay, but seriously. What would I do different? Uh -huh. I'd probably take marketing a little more serious. Ooh, okay. So I don't have to do so much leg work as far as marketing. Right, I get I would, that. Yeah. I think that'd be my biggest thing that I would would have changed early on and still need to change. But yeah, <laughs> um, I think marketing. Yeah, would you go more digital mm. early on? Yes. Cool. Yes. I can see that. Yeah, I needed some. I need some QR codes. And yeah. yeah. Business cards are not it anymore, you guys. At Scan. least not like where our lines of works take place. Right. Scan that card. You know, get your QR code on your phone. Right. Get build you a nice little mini web page. Yes. So people can just scan it on their phone, tap it up, boom, you got a little mini web page. There's tons of services out there that offer this. Yeah, you can get QR decals on your mm -hmm. vehicles, and that's really cool. I mean, when you're driving down the road, mm -hmm. just drive by, scan it real quick. I mean, we've seen that, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, totally. I think a lot of business owners feel that way, just mm -hmm. evolving with technology over time. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try oh. the burn after heating. No, hold on, try again, eating. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my hot sauce is getting to me. Burn after eating um, hot sauce. It's called, the brand is called Karma Sauce. Burn after eating, that's cute. Yeah. It's a nice little play on words. It is, I'm excited. <clears throat> it's super thick. It won't yeah, come out. Yeah. Put this on, let me Help. give it a shaky shake. Okay. <laughs> ah! It's the third to last one. So I'm a little nervous. Alright. Okay, can you take off the lid? Thank you. Oh. All right. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm nervous, you guys. This one smells fiery. I that mean, is a chili paste. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's hot. Mm -hmm. I can tell. I can smell it. You still are not even sweating yet, girl. I'm over here, like wiping. I'm all start. I'm all start. <laughs> hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good on my topo though. I'm a G. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So time for your question. You do fifty to seventy so transactions a year, which is a lot for a single agent without a team. Congrats on your success, by the way. Thank you. Um, now, with all those Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> now, with all those transactions, I'm sure you have a favorite part of a transaction. What is your favorite part throughout the transaction process? Negotiating process? Or is it like going to a closing and bringing them a gift? Or maybe getting that? Can we get some milk? Well, <laughs> Chocolate or vanilla? I don't care. Whatever flavor. Wow. Good luck. I'm scared. You should be. <laughs> Hurry. Not quick. Good stuff. I'll answer as soon as I'm done, I promise. Okay, much better. <laughs> okay. Dang, I know, I'm scared for real. You should be. <laughs> um, I'm not kidding. Oh, I still need more, hang on. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. What was the question? I don't remember. <laughs> 
um, favorite something. Favorite part of a transaction. Oh God, there's so many great parts. For me, it's that every transaction is unique. <laughs> I can't be, I'm crying. <laughs> You're like wow. getting that paper girl. Karma. <laughs> they mean it. I got mine. <laughs> Try it and quit laughing. Okay, come on, come on. I guess. No, but for real, I love that every transaction is so unique. Okay. I love that I learned something new every transaction. There we go. That's great. I love that answer. Okay. That's great. Now try it. Okay. Life is all about learning, y'all. Yeah, it is. Where's your milk? I'm about to learn me something about burning after eating. Gosh. It's so thick. Literally so thick. Should I put them on it? Um, I mean, we have some really hot ones coming after that, so it's up to you. Did you do that much? Uh huh. Did that much? Yeah, it's a good amount. It's perfect. <clears throat> okay, so while you're chowing down, my question is to you. Are you okay? Mm hmm. Okay, he's doing good. This is great. Mm hmm. Awesome. I, I feel it. <laughs> okay, so my question is to you. Mm hmm. What is your favorite thing to do when it comes to construction? Whether that's a remodel, build something from the ground up. Um, what's your favorite? Well, I like that question. I don't think I've done my favorite thing yet. Ooh, I love that. So there's room for growth. <coughs> yeah. Cool. Um, so far. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> Oh my God. I know. It's literally like about 30 seconds after you finish the bite, like it hits right away. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah, burn from hell is what that should be called. You see that? You see fire? Yeah. Just now? Literally. <sighs> okay, I need some milk. <clears throat> so that was. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't think I've done it yet, but so far. I would say I think roofing is um, roofing is cool. Uh -huh. I like putting up roofs because he gave me a brand new napkin. <laughs> Here you go. Roofing is. Um, I know. Just breathe. Roofing is like the TikTok of construction. Oh. Uh, it gets done in one day, um, which means all parties are satisfied. Satisfied. Yeah. And instantly grat grat. <laughs> It's instant gratification. You, 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 you want, you want. Um, so that's also cool. Uh -huh. <coughs> Holy smokes. It's a, it's a good one, huh? Let me get some milk. Uh huh. I'm actually scared to keep going. Like, let's just be real. I'm terrified. Uh, I really enjoy remodels though. Um, yeah. I like turning something ugly and making it beautiful. Yeah, oh, we're, we're actually a wing short. Should we grab another wing? Oh, Hang on, we have like a bucket over here. Hang on. I got some more milk. Okay, so we'll throw that down. Okay. More like die after eating. Yeah, literally. It's a good one, right? Uh, wow. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Um, the next one is Scorpion Pepper. This one is actually from Bucky's, which is um, a huge gas station here in Texas, and they're also in other locations as well. They just moved out to Alabama and Florida. Yeah. So if you live in Alabama and Florida and you ain't been yet, hit up Bucky's. Yes, good stuff. Okay. Pray for me. Uh, all right, I'll pray for you. I was supposed to ask you a question. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh. So, you 
you have been a realtor for six years now. I've said that already. But <laughs> I'm going to remind people. Um, what's the next step? Ooh. It's a secret. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, hey, that's cool too. Give us a hint. Okay. I. <clears throat> it's still in the real estate realm. Um, and just FYI, I think that one prepared me for this one. So it's actually not that bad. You'll be okay. It's kind of a breath of fresh air. I won't ever be okay again. <laughs> <sighs> okay. But I'm happy you think I will. Mm -hmm. We'll crawl out of this together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. I believe that I'm going to open a brokerage in Texas, but hopefully in other states as well, and then hopefully international someday. Those are my big dreams. But as far as what's next, definitely getting my broker's license, getting a brokerage open, and going from there. 2024. Sky. Yeah, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit, baby, I love it. Come on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat this with you because Ooh. if I keep waiting, mm -hmm. it's just gonna keep hurting. You know how they say, when you're eating hot, you guys gotta keep eating hot. Yeah, but I promise you, this is nothing compared to that. We should have like, Honestly. Swap those two? Yeah. All right. You'll see. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna... Mm, I don't know. Something's happening to me. <laughs> oh, This one comes out fast. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's so good, actually. Whatever. Whatever. We're already doing it. We're already here, fam. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. For me, I mean, for you. Okay, maybe it was hot. Hang on. For you, what is the next step? Because that was such a lovely question. And I'd like to know yours. The family would like to know your next step. All right. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> really? Are you serious? Dude. I feel like this one was so much more intense than that one. You at least have to agree with me on that one. I don't know. <laughs> oh. I got a snack. Yeah. I got my butt sweating. <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me. We're gonna be okay. Everything's right. gonna be fine. What did you ask me? Um, so you asked me a minute ago. <clears throat> Hold on. I can't hear anything. Okay. Uh. I need another napkin for my okay. eyeballs. <laughs> We're almost done. We're almost done. It's almost over. Uh, Do you what? want some milk? <laughs> it's almost over. Uh, milk. Okay. I heard that. You want chocolate or vanilla? Give me the chocolate. Okay. Mm. <laughs> so my question was, since you can hear me now, what are your next steps? Where do you see yourself going next with your career? Uh, <clears throat> so, I have partnered up with a roofing company who has been doing some pretty big things here in Texas. Yes. Um, I'm gonna help them grow. <clears throat> I'm gonna help them grow here in the Houston area and then take them to our next place. Okay. Um, and as far as construction goes, I want to start doing some custom home building. Okay. Um, so Love that. Really just start <clears throat> doing some more flips, mm -hmm. full renovation projects, um, and then buying raw land and doing some... <coughs> buying raw land and doing... Ooh, custom home building. Okay. That's within the next three to five years. I love that. That's awesome. Okay, well, I'm gonna move on to the next one. I'm sure most of you know what this is. Da bomb. Ooh. Ground zero. Literally one of the hottest hot sauces known to man. We've seen this on the hot ones. Everybody's seen this on hot ones. Yes. Here we go. We've seen Shaq cry. We've seen everybody. I'm not, <laughs> I'm already dying. It's actually know. really hard to get out, so. Oh. 
I'm just gonna do this one with you, baby. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one with you. Okay, I think I need more. I didn't do enough. Oh yeah, you're doing way more than oh, me. Oh shit. I'll just take some take from some you. Take some from me. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah. Okay. All right, go. Ready? Yes. Let's show cheers. The, show the fan. Yes. I can't get it down. What do I do? Just slow down the chew. I feel like you have to eat as much chicken off the bone so that way it like counteracts the, the sauce. <laughs> that don't even taste good. Oh, no, no. I about threw up. I almost threw up. Mm. This is helping. I'm drooling. Drink some milk. Here. Here. Hurry. Uh. I'm sweating. I think we're supposed to be asking each other questions. That's actual pain. I just have to leave the milk in my mouth. I can't talk, I'm sorry. <sighs> Baby, that's not enjoyable. Literally like, literally a bomb. I'm drooling too, are you okay? Mm -mm. Coming on in a sink. Are you okay? I think I lost my my partner. I'm not gonna lie, like that was extremely painful. Ah. <laughs> He's going to the bathroom. We love you guys. I'm just peeing. Okay, he's just gonna take a pee. You all right? No. Oh. You got it, honey. Deep breath. Okay. <laughs> that was literally the hottest shit I've ever eaten. Guys, we love you. If you liked this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. Later. Be easy.